If you can program your favorite TV shows to record, you can program your Motion Hub. Today, I'm going to show you just how easy it is. In this short video, we're going to discuss downloading and logging into the Motion Blinds app, linking the hub to the app, pairing your shades to the hub, and creating rooms, scenes, and timers. You can always refer to the included programming instructions as needed. The Motion Hub is ready to set up once your shade is installed and programmed with your preferred settings. If you need help programming your shade, check out the How to Program video on our website. Let's get started. Open the App Store or Google Play Store on your smart device and enter Motion Blinds in the search bar. Make sure you select the correct app and then download it for free. Open the app when it's installed and register your account using a valid email address. Your password must contain at least four characters. When your account is created, you'll return to the opening page of the app. Choose Sign In and enter the credentials you've just created. Once you see the home screen of the app, we can move on to setting up the Motion Hub. Tap the three dot icon on the top right and choose Settings from the small menu that appears. Under Location Settings, click on the default location named My House. Under Bridge Settings, click Add Bridge. Select the Motion Bridge as your hub device. Locate a space in your home to plug in and power your hub. When the red light appears on your hub, click Next. The name of your local Wi-Fi network should be displayed on the following screen. Enter the password for your network and then click Next. Locate the setting button on the back of the hub and press it for about two seconds until a purple light begins flashing. Then click Next. While keeping the Motion app running in the background, go to your phone's Wi-Fi settings and look for a network named Motion followed by a unique four-digit code. Connect to this network and then return to the Motion app. The app will take 60 seconds or less to connect with your hub. When you see a message that says added successfully, the purple flashing light will turn solid yellow for a few moments and then solid blue. Click on Save Bridge to proceed. Enter a name for your hub and then select Done. Now, let's link your motorized shade to your hub. Starting on the app home screen, click on the default location My House. Click on the Blind tab and then tap the plus sign at the bottom of the screen. Select the type of window covering you're connecting to the hub. Briefly press the program button on the motor head of your shade and it will begin shifting up and down repeatedly. Then tap the pair button in the app. Allow 20 seconds for the hub to connect to your shade until you see added successfully on your screen. Then select next. If you have a dual shade like us, hold the down arrow until your shade reaches the bottom limit with the stripes aligned in the closed position. Then select next. Move your shade up incrementally until the stripes align in the open position. Then select next. Your shade is now paired with the Motion Hub. If you wish, you can name the shade, assign it to a room, and even adjust the limits. Select Done when you're happy with your shade settings. Repeat the steps in this section for each additional motorized shade you have. Lastly, let's review how to personalize your settings by adding rooms, scenes, and timers. To create a room, click on the Room tab and then tap the plus sign at the bottom of the screen. Enter a name for the room, such as Living Room, and then click Done. Under Picture, select an icon that best represents the room you're adding. When you're ready to save the room, tap Done. Now select the room you've just created and tap the plus sign at the bottom. In the mini menu that appears, choose Add Existing Blind. Tap on All Blinds and then select each shade you'd like to assign to your room. When you're done, simply tap the back arrow. To operate all shades in your room simultaneously, click on the room you've just created. Set your target position between 0 and 100 using the slider in the center of your screen. Select Apply to operate all shades to the target position. 
If you want to set up a scene, click on the tab named Scene, and then tap the plus sign at the bottom. Enter a name that best describes your scene, and then tap Done. Under Picture, select an icon that represents the scene. Next, click Add Blinds. Navigate the All Blinds menu to find the shade you want to add to the scene. Now set the shade position for the scene by dragging the Current Position slider up and down. Tap the Test button to make sure you're satisfied with the shade's position, and then tap Done. Add more shades to the scene if you want, or click Done. When you're ready to save the scene, tap Done again. To add a timer, click on the tab named Timer, and then tap the plus sign at the bottom. Select Add Scene Timer from the mini menu. Enter a name for the timer you'll be using with your scene, and then tap Done. Under When, select a specific time for the scene to be activated, and then tap Choose. Under Repeat, the timer's default is to activate every day of the week. Select any days that you don't want the timer to activate. Under Scene, choose the scene that will be activated with your timer, then tap Done. When you're ready to save the timer, select Done again. You can tap the slider icon next to your timer to turn it off or on. If you want to adjust the timer settings, tap and slide the timer to the right. If you want to delete the timer, slide the timer to the left. You did it! You now know how to set up and operate your Motion Hub. If you have any questions or need more help programming your shade, refer to the installation instructions on our website or just give us a call. We're here to help.